Next up, we have uh, County of Hawaii, Mayor Billy Kinoy. Aloha. Uh, Aloha. Chairman Ige, distinguished members of the Senate Ways and Means Committee, I'd like to respectfully stand on a testimony of my distinguished colleague. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, wow, I was going to say that. Oh, I was going to say that. Here in use collaboration, partnership, teamwork, I'm out of words. But, uh, Next year he goes first. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you know, it's been a real privilege to, uh, to work with our fellow mayors as well as with all of you. This is a, our, uh, it's a privilege to be here for our fifth message on behalf of the County of Hawaii. I'd like to acknowledge a couple members of our Hawaii County Council, newly elected uh, councilman from the District of Puna, Gregory Ilagan, is here, and our uh, councilman from Hilo, uh, Dennis Fresh Onishi. The best political name in all of politics, Fresh. <laughs> Imagine the possibilities during one campaign. <laughs> I was going to change my name to Billy Change Kenoi. <laughs> Thank you, Fresh. Um, you know, uh, We've just greatly appreciated being able to come to each of your offices and respect, respectfully make requests uh, that best serve the, the residents of uh, our respective counties. You know, our, like we, we always talk about the residents of Hawaii Island aren't state residents or county residents, they're our residents. Um, and we've been very blessed and fortunate these many years to have your support and cooperation, and we look forward to continue doing that. Um, as we, uh, in the past, a couple messages, we wouldn't even come and make requests, being cognizant and uh, recognizing the economic challenges, not just facing the counties, but the state as well. And we knew it was a shared sacrifice. And as Senator Sloan said, it was, Sloan said it's, what, how can we best do more with less? And uh, this year, um, prior to coming and delivering this message, we had a conversation and we solicited the priorities from all of our four senators from Hawaii Island, as well as our seven representatives. And our goal was to go in collectively uh, seeking assistance from the state legislature for state projects on Hawaii Island. Um, in the areas of transportation, we know that Puna, uh, Senator, only elected Senator Rutterman, is from the fastest growing area in the state of Hawaii. Uh, one road in, one road out, 60,000, no, uh, uh, over 50,000 lots created, late 50s, early 60s, and those lots and subdivisions are starting to become populated. Highway 130 would be our respectful request uh, for support. Uh, and in Kona, and again, another growing population, limited infrastructure to alleviate, mitigate traffic congestion, the Anekeho Kaloli Highway. Uh, you know, we believe that as we develop infrastructure, people spend less time in their cars, and we alleviate, mitigate that congestion, they spend more time with their families for a better quality of life. In an area of public safety, as we've been well made aware, in the last four years, <coughs> we've had an earthquake in Chile, Japan, uh, in the Pacific Northwest, and we recognize that we have to modernize our siren system statewide. Uh, it's not a challenge to any specific county, but it's also a, a challenge statewide. So we would respectfully request support for that. In the area of children and youth, a uh, statewide juvenile intake and assessment center um, just from my previous life as a deputy public defender, uh, we recognize, we talk about the importance of our children, the greatest asset in our community, our keiki, our haumana, uh, but we only, we have very limited facilities for them. Um, over 60% of residents of facilities here on Oahu are neighbor island kids. Uh, we have nowhere on Maui or Kauai or Hawaii Island to do intake assessment and appropriate placement, so that would be a, a, res a request there. Of course, in higher education, we truly believe the University of Hawaii at Hilo is an emerging center of academic excellence in Hawaii, give, giving our students uh, future leaders options besides Manoa or West Oahu uh, that are community colleges. We have our, uh, the governor has included in his budget um, monies for the College of Pharmacy Health Sciences building. Our, of course, our College of Pharmacy is the only college of pharmacy in the state of Hawaii. Uh, it's been accredited. Dean John Pazuru came over from the College of Purdue, one of the most recognized and uh, uh, distinguished College of Pharmacies in the country. And we believe it'll create capacity, not only today, but for future generations to come. Around healthcare, 
uh, an issue on all of our neighbor island communities is rural residency program and primary care in rural communities. We respectfully request continued support uh, for the rural residency program, which basically is training of our physicians uh, in rural communities because studies show that where our students of medical school, John A. Burns School of Medicine, where they do their residency, is where they're more likely to stay and continue to practice. Uh, Parks and Recreation, we uh, will be respectfully requesting uh, transfer of Hapuna State Park and Mauna Kea State Parks um, to ease the burden on limited state resources in those areas. We believe they're incredible assets that, have, that are in need of increased support, care, repair, and maintenance. Um, we are willing to assume the costs of maintenance. Uh, we have parks in the area, um, and we look forward to being able to utilize our community and volunteers and county resources to enhance and improve what is and are um, underutilized jewels of our park system. So it'd be a partnership where we would uh, still take care of it because people who visit Kamaina, visit us, they don't know if it's a state park or county park, they just know it's some park and they would like to see it uh, better maintained. So we offer that. Finally, in an area of economic development, the administration has requested $113 million for improvement of Kona International Airport, including $37.5 million for international arrivals, $70 million for a major terminal expansion. Um, the bottom line is here at Honolulu International Airport, it's the fourth busiest airport in the United States and at peak capacity, uh, it's full. I, excuse me? Some of the lowest landing fees. I leave that to you guys. We don't know Kuleana over there. We're still talking landing fees. Guys look at us, but whatever, Hawaii, Shaka, it's out of We'll take care of Big Island and a little airport. But, but um, Kona remains a, a second hub, a second potential hub for international arrivals. Uh, we have that designation. I believe the governor's initiative and request would humbly request that support to provide residents and visitors alike uh, another opportunity or entry point into Hawaii, more importantly, I mean, for our community, provides jobs, economic opportunity, I mean, economic opportunity, and a clear multiplier effect in the growth of our economy. So those will be our, it's just, you guys, whether can or no can, just feel good typing them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? A couple years ago, I came for testify, you know, like kids say, hey, what you gonna ask for? I'm gonna ask for nothing, what? <laughs> wow, I'm gonna ask for nothing too then. <laughs> Um, you know what, disregard our request, we're not asking for anything. <laughs> but uh, mahalo for the support. I uh, wish all of you uh, the best in 2013 and to a productive uh, and beneficial legislative session. Mahalo. Okay, thank you. Thank you Questions for the mayor of the Big Island. You know, Billy, your, your ear must come so a lot because your name is used a lot, you know, in this area. <laughs> <laughs> uh, call him, uh, no, no, I just... Members, question, Senator Kahele. Just, uh, before uh, Senator Ruderman, uh, I just wanted to uh, thank you for your leadership, uh, Mayor, for doing a great job on uh, Big Island. Thank you, Senator. Uh, and for bringing up about uh, Mauna Kea State, State Park and also Hapuna, because uh, Dale and I was here yesterday and we had a conversation. Also uh, with Shipta, because I was concerned about the Kau Chem, mm -hmm. and hopefully that we're moving towards that part, uh, construction to move again. Uh, any other issues? No, Do you I, have uh, any other project, uh, projects maybe in the way, the way of roads or anything that are being held up because of the well, bureaucracy of the system that maybe we can be of help? Well, Senator, I, I think we've all uh, tried to work collaboratively. Thank you for talking to Deal in our Kau Jim Shipti. I know it's a county-state partnership, um, and we at the county level accept responsibility for processing and expediting permits uh, so that jobs that are funded by the legislature are actually executed and implemented. Uh, we've had some hold holdups. I, I know one, I'm gonna get the acronym wrong, but one yeah. of the challenges in our roadways is um, MPSDS, MPSD, MPD, non-point source discharge something like that. You know, but well, you guys know what I mean. Eh? <laughs> Close enough. No, uh, I guess it's within Department of Health, Environmental Branch, and, and not to disregard the very critical importance of making sure all permits are processed. Um, but we could use some uh, facilitation uh, to ensure, because we have saddle roll, <coughs> 40 million, 
uh, or Queen Cajumano Phase Two. It's an $80 million project held up for other reasons. Lalamilo. Um, so you start talking, we're in an area of about $100 million of projects uh, that we could use some departmental support at, and the uh, legislature and senators clearly provide that leadership. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Senator. Thank you. Senator Ruderman? Yes, hi, Mayor. Um, thank, I just wanted Senator. to thank you uh, for all of your testimony, but especially I appreciate you recognizing that Highway 130 in the Puna District is an urgent need. And as you mentioned, it's somewhat possibly the fastest growing district in the state. We have exactly one lane in and out for about 40,000 people with a volcano in our backyard. So it is a, a very urgent need, and I really appreciate you recognizing and putting it in your top priorities. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, Senator. Uh, it wasn't just uh, traffic, but when I was campaigning out there, I would sign wave. My hand wouldn't come down the whole hour, and that's when I know <laughs> they need to for white in the roads. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the reason. No, no, that's not the reason. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, no. Members, uh, Senator Kouchi. Uh, not for Mayor you know, Mayor Cavallo, I promise to practice with you next year so we can get this right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Senator English. Yeah, thank you. Actually, it's, it's a question for the mayors to think about and then maybe try and answer it in a bit. I know that many of you have been working with um, the timelines on permits, like building permits, um, you know, streamlining, and many of you have done a really excellent job. I mean, I really want to commend uh, Mayor Arakawa in Maui for speeding up the process. Uh, people have been very, very pleased in Maui with how it's going, but, and this is the big but, it's on our side. Um, what I've heard from a lot of you is that when it comes to the process and then it needs to go to a state agency, it gets lost, like Shifty, like Department of Health, like you know these types of things. So when you guys come up and say, our timeline show that we can process a permit in say 60 days, but the state side will take 180 days or will take whatever. Um, I want you guys to consider how we can help to help our departments to speed things up, because you know oftentimes, I mean, you get you guys all get the calls and we get the calls. But when you start looking at it, I notice that your departments have moved everything, and it's our guys. In Maui, I can I can say that Department of Health, and the reason we have one guy that does, you know, wastewater stuff. He's really good. He's overworked. He has three islands, and when you ask him, what does he need? He said, I need two people to help me. You know, so if you can think of the things like this, that we can then consider in this session. Um, to help our guys speed up the processing for you because we all serve the same constituents. So, you know, I'm putting that out as a general question to the four mayors. Um, I know it, with discussion with Maui, you know, we know exactly what we need, but for Big Island, for Kauai, um, for Oahu, it might be a little bit different, but, you know, think about the exact things that you might need and then communicate that back to us. Okay, mm -hmm. thanks. Members, any other questions? Senator Thielen? Thank you, Mayor Kenoy. I just had a question for you about the, um, the state parks. Yes. Um, you know, I'll set aside the Mauna Kea one because I think that's, you know, worth discussion. But on Hapuna, I had a question. You know, you've got the area that's developed with the, the parking lot and where everybody goes to the beach. And Correct. that was identified by DLNR as one of the revenue sources where they could charge the entry fees for the tourists. Right. But the state park is actually much bigger. There's a fairly large, unimproved area Correct. with historic sites that takes right. a fair amount of work to manage. As the Big Island um, County, are you just looking to transfer the improved Beach Park section, or are you looking to transfer that whole state land? Well, our goal was that in partnership, because the Department of Land and Natural Resource has that expertise in the cultural, historical, preservation areas, that they would take their limited resources, focus it there, and because the core mission of the County of Hawaii is around parks and recreation uh, for our children and our families, that we would utilize resources to take care of the improved areas, the bathrooms, the parks, the parking, the cabins for potential camping. Okay. The concern I would have with that is that would be taking all of the revenue generating property over to the county and leaving DLNR with no revenue to support that other management. Our response would be that if you would look at the revenue stream of Apuna, mm -hmm. um, it being very little because there is no charge for parking, very little concession if at all. 
Uh, we've had this conversation when you were director, and I appreciate the time you did give us. Um, but there's very little revenue being generated at Puna, and the state is paying us over 400000 to provide lifeguards. Mm -hmm. So our response to that would be the state is spending more than it's taken in at Hapuna, and if we were to get the recreation, that would relieve the state from paying us uh, almost a half a million dollars and would just give us the responsibility to provide services there. Yeah, I agree it's taken longer than desirable to get the, the parking stuff in place, but part of that is dealing with the downturn and the loss of positions and everything over this time. Um, but I still think it would... Uh, it would take that potential away because that is something you know that they found in the parks that they have gotten the parking revenue in. It's been a, a significant part of the parks budget now. So I guess um, you know I can't speak for the other senators, but I would be concerned about shifting the revenue generating portion away without the others, unless there was some proposal that came forward with some type of you know division of resources there. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Members, any uh, further questions for Mayor Kinoy? Okay, if not, thank you. Thank you. Finally, oh, yes. I think, um, Mayor Okay, sure, please.